What's up everybody, how's it going? Out here cruising around in the Jeep. And the reason I'm cruising around is because I just changed the differential fluids and put new diff covers on front and rear. I interrupted that message to bring you this message. Make sure you check out our video on the 100th upload giveaway. Do it now. The link will be up here, up here, down here, down here. Uh, somewhere on the screen you will see a link to that video. Check it out now. I'm trying to nurse this rear end back to health and see if I can figure out what's going on with it. So step one was to change the diff fluid. And while I was at it, I just got new diff covers for the front and the rear. The front one you, you knew about because I showed it before, it was that uh, poison spider uh, bomb, bombshell, bomb proof, whatever it was, uh, cast iron or something like that. So, <clears throat> and uh, we're in the Jeep now because I wanna make sure to run it and get that fluid splashing around and see uh, what this rear end feels like when we get back from the trip. But anyway, so uh, this is the intro. <laughs> kind of weird to do it after the fact, but whatever, it's YouTube. You guys don't know the difference other than the fact that I told you. So we'll get on with the uh, rear diff fluid. I did not video draining the fluid. I did not video taking the cover off because it's self-explanatory you take the bolts out and the fluid comes out done deal um, but anyway so we'll go ahead with the rear diff cover install and hopefully you guys enjoy if you have any questions or comments let me know down below and uh, there you go okay guys we are going to install the lube blocker Dana 35 differential gasket with a G2 cover up my address there uh, a G2 hammered diff cover uh, this is a black one I guess it opens from the other side oh maybe not there we go and I just wanted to upgrade I don't have G2 gears or axles but I just wanted an upgraded diff cover. So, went with this black one. Pretty good quality. Um, there's one spot where there's a couple burrs, and that's down here where the drain plug is on the inside. And obviously, I don't think it's enough to cause any sort of an issue, but it's, uh, it's really sharp. And I think I actually just picked a piece off somehow so we'll have to make sure to clean this out before we get started and then um, say we're gonna use the lube blocker which is a supposedly reusable gasket instead of RTV and um, you can see here it's got like it's a uh, like felt but then it's got this rubber on both sides of it that's what the red is so we're gonna put that on and make sure uh, seats well and then we'll refill the diff so I already have the diff cover off it is drained and cleaned so all we got to do is put the new diff cover on and fill it back up but uh, let's get started Okay, here we are underneath, and as you can see, I got the rear diff cleaned out, drained, and I'm just going to do one final scrape with the razor blade, and then we will get the new cover mounted up. Everything looks good as far as the ring gear, the pinion, and the spider gears. So whatever issue I'm having with this rear end is more than likely the axle shafts and probably the bearing at the hub and the seal which is on this end of the diff it'd be in the center here your seal should be somewhere in here and your bearing will be out at the end so yeah I don't know but we're gonna take care of this and then we'll have to see if um, I still have 
that vibration and uh, clicking and chattering that's going on. So uh, let's keep going. Locker package. It has the order in which you tighten them. Starting at the bottom, then going basically in a star pattern. So we're gonna do that, and they recommend doing it in two rounds. So we're gonna do it snug the first round, and then we'll do torque the second round. The torque specs, the first round I believe is 15, the second round is 25 or 30. But we're just going to do the uh, guten tight method because, um, I don't know, I, those torque specs worry me and I don't want to break anything off, so. Well, let's move on in our start pattern here, hopefully you can still see this really well. Trying to get the best angle possible. Okay, there it is. The G2 Hammer Dana 35 rear diff cover. This is the fill plug, and this is the drain plug. So we're gonna pull that fill plug, and then uh, fill it up. And you wanna fill it until the fluid starts oozing out, and then put your lid back or uh, your plug back in, and you're all done. So, uh, I'm going to finish it here because you don't really need to know how to put fluid in it. It's pretty simple. Um, all I have is a little pump that goes on a bottle, and you pump the fluid out of the bottle into there. That way uh, it doesn't make too much of a mess. And because there's really no easy angle to get uh, your, your gear fluid in there. So, I'm going to button this up. And that's, uh, that's how you do it. That's how you put the new rear diff cover on a Dana 35. Now, my axle has the metal tabs that supposedly tell you what your gear ratios are. Okay, so these, 
little plates here. They're supposed to tell you what your gear ratio is. And they usually go from one bolt to the next. Now there is a spot up top where I could put it back on. Um, I'm going to try my best to show you. You can't even read what it says. So there's no point in saving it. There's no point in putting it back on, unfortunately. It's just going to have to be what it's going to be. Because you can't read it. So. Alright, so there you have it. There's the installation of the rear diff cover. And, uh, you know, it's really straightforward. The key points you got to remember is to go in a crisscross pattern or a star pattern when you're tightening up the bolts. And A plus to lube locker. Those things are fantastic. It's a little bit more money uh, than using just a tube of RTV, obviously. I think it was like 20, somewhere between 22 and $25 a piece for the lube locker. So you're looking at roughly $50 to do front and rear. But the lube lockers are amazing because they're easy and uh, you don't gotta mess around with that goop and it's just, I can't really explain it, you know. The old timers and and uh, mechanics and stuff, but RTV, 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 it's always been that way, or it's really simple, it's cheap, but I don't know, I, I really like the Lube Locker product, uh, I think it's awesome. So we're all done with that, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, remember to watch our 100th upload video, like I said in the beginning of this, so make sure you watch that, enter to win, it's real easy. And uh, if we get enough interest, we'll give away uh, double prizes. So there's an added bonus to make two people happy instead of one. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. We got some cool stuff coming up here. Uh, we got a Jeep show in York, in uh, York, Pennsylvania, in uh, about two weeks now, I guess it is, middle of July. So. Um, we're going to do the Jeep show in York and hopefully have some good video from that and uh, just whatever whatever comes up. So please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the little bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. And uh, be sure to check us out on our other social media. We have Instagram and Facebook. And if you watch the 100th upload giveaway video, you'll know that you have to follow us on Instagram because that's how you're going to enter to win. So, we're all done. Uh, I rambled long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If not, it's all right. I still love making videos. So, take care. We'll see you all at the next one. Bye-bye.